But in Galera Cordia, goes for Gate Fall to the Park Game in DC. The Tech Strata Show. It's your Gaia Aintaha, August Port Lorica. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Eamon DC Park for this evening's SSC. It's Lucy League First Division encounter between Galway United and Waterford FC. A crucial game here on the banks of the Cara Bollinger. Yeah, massive game. Look at the. Uh both teams on a great run both teams obviously added to their backroom staff with the lads bringing in Keith Long and Adam Reynolds uh, they recently and Andy Horton from the end of the night but both and both coming off a, a surprise defeat last night for both teams especially Waterford at home to Wexford and Galway they're a bit of the bogey side on for town but uh, both of them are looking for a reaction both teams tonight at the start of the season on fire as well 14 goals so far in the campaign. It's excellent uh, returns from Curly to Gordon for United. Gordon beats it forward looking for Cullum Horgan who advances on the right. Ed McCarthy with the header. The right foot across into the area. Lombofo can't get there. Bruder takes it down well. Good effort from Killian Bruder. Fine save from Paul Martin. Yeah, did well. Lovely touch. And get out of the field quickly. And good shot of goal as well. Just look at the keeper positions. And so well to a good save. Hurley with a free kick to Francie Lombolto. Lombolto faced by Soba Wallace. Francie Lombolto drives into the area. Francie Lombolto with the cross. Walsh with the flick and no one was there to provide the finish. But good work there from Hurley and Lombolto. Dashes forward to take. Dunlin. Checks what's on. Dave Hurley with the left foot across into the area. Stephen Walsh is beaten to it by Phillips. Ed McCarthy at the back post. McCarthy oh, off the post oh. and in to the net. Ed McCarthy steers Galway United and one to the good alley. Yeah, look, it was something out of nothing. A uh, nice return ball from uh, John into Hurley and a, and a great ball in. Nice little flick on it and fell lovely for McCarthy to dispatch into the corner. Great finish by him in off the post. Um, can't say any team deserve it, but look at it. We'll take it. Um, uh, nice goal for Galway. Fourth goal of the campaign for Ed McCarthy. Of course, scored a hat trick here earlier in the season against Kerry FC. Griffin fizzes it into the area. Clark spills it. Parsons gets it on target. Good save though with a second attempt from Clark. O'Keefe steered it back into the area. But United survive a real scare there, Ollie. Yeah, look, it was a great free kick. Um, nice bit of pace in it, but I, I'm just surprised that even with the spot as well. Oh, 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 they took the chance when they came to them, you know, but so far it's a good game. Thanks a million, Ali, for your contribution in the first half. And Geron Caitlin Shaw, the park game in DC. Gallien to Ahain, Port Lorigan Nodge, Bigi Rashley, and Yan Kupla no made the Darnala. DC Park, Ali, Galway United making one substitution at half time. Colin Horgan's going to be replaced by Conor O'Keefe. Yeah, look, we, we saw that before half time. He seemed to be struggling um, ever so slightly. He, he was. Struggling during the week against Longford Town and um, was carried it into tonight's game. But look at it, probably bit, the best thing really with him on a yellow card going into the second half with Parsons. You know, he's a handful. Um, to Francie Lombolto, Lombolto into the area to Stephen Walsh. Walsh tries to get it under control. Stephen Walsh with an attempt from an acute angle hits the side netting. Yeah, he kept running out of angle of the, every time he touched the ball to his left hand side um, eventually he probably should have squared it back and trying to pick over the lads but it was everything was done so quickly Hurry. Oh. Oh. the attack Roland Coughlin manufactures a yard of space does well checks back inside Roland Coughlin faced by Rob Slavin Coughlin to the edge of the area Larkin's shot was almost wise and there will be a goal pick for Gaul United mm. So far, so good. Waterford has no real clear chances all in the second half, and it's you know relatively good from Galway. Ed McCarthy and David Hurley stand over this free kick for United. McCarthy scored in the first half in the thirty-third minute. Hurley takes it though with a left-footed delivery into the area. Waterford. A challenge Thank there from Shane Griffin and it is a penalty referee Kevin O'Sullivan points to the spot 
No complaints from the visitors. Griffin flew in there. Penalty awarded by referee Kevin O'Sullivan. Yeah, look, he came in blindsided to him and... Um, Obviously came in very quick and, and, and he had no option but, but put in a challenge and right under the nose of the referee. So hopefully going out you can dispatch it. We, we've been unlucky in a few occasions this year with the penalties and hopefully we can put a bit of a daylight between ourselves and Waterford. Griffin is also going to be yellow carded, the first Waterford player to be cautioned this evening. The visitors had no complaints after that challenge by to face Paul Martin for the United lead by a goal to nail the top two in the SSE Air Christie League first division it's early in the season it's still a vital game Hurley will hit this one left footed Kevin O'Sullivan the referee checks that all is in order Hurley, the Cork man for Galway United, goes low and goes hard and steers Galway United two to the goal at Eamon DC Park, Ollie. Yeah, great finish. He comes with the corner, you know, a chance for the keeper. Um, hit a whale, you know, and, and, and dispatched a whale. You can see there's a guy's going over here now over to the, the, the linesman. I thought he was going to have a word with him, but they're not. Look at this. should see Galway out now, you know. They, they've been playing well enough um, in the second half. But open. Parsons. To a deal. Back to Connor Parsons. Parsons to Griffin. Griffin with the cross. Cochrane with the finish. Waterford back in this game. Yeah, I said it before the game, or as, as the game was on, before half time came. Cochrane got no supply whatsoever this evening. The first chance series got for the, this evening, and he dispatched it well into the corner. Great finish. But, you know, there should have been a challenge going in somewhere over the far side of the pitch. Somebody should have got a bite at somebody, but. Um, as you said, if it, it, it's, it's all or nothing now with both teams, and, and it's game on again here at 2 1. Commanding hitter it was to Gordon. Walsh, the deft hitter towards Ed McCarthy. United clean for handball, a corner kick though is the outcome. Oh, Ed McCarthy clean the handball, but it would have been harsh on Phillips. Yep. Five minutes of additional time would be played at the end of the game. Clark with the goal kick. Walsh. In the air, see the wind ahead of it. But for me, it's all of it. Waves play on. We'll take Shane Griffin with the corner kick, goes into the area, causes a bit of panic. Borden with the header, Burke with the effort. Martin can't get there. Referee Kevin O'Sullivan blasts the full time whistle. Galway United win a crucial encounter. John Caulfield goes down to shake hands with the fourth official. Keith Long is next to shake hands with John Caulfield 2-1 to Galway United a high stakes battle here at Eamon DC Park Valley but Galway United prevail yeah look at the city half time team you know 1-0 wasn't probably going to be sufficient for Galway they needed a second goal and uh, for that bit of a push and look at they got a goal back to Waterford but we said it before the game these two are going to be sparing for the most of the season the, the, the two best teams by, by a mile I suppose in the, the first division it's going to be nip and tuck between them, both of them for the rest of the season and Waterford will you know will strengthen as, as a transfer window comes in but you know these are the type of games where Galway United have to manufacture a win if they're going to be champions they're going to be uh, trying to get out of this division as champions but, but, but avoiding the playoffs these are the type of games they have to win and look at they did it tonight uh, you know it's not always pretty but it's a win